There are 13 in number, uh, a female and 12 uh, male. Uh, they were arrested, like I said, for illegal mining. And they were mining in areas where they didn't have license to. Uh, and they were also uh, into uh, mining stones for quarry. Uh, they also breached the provisions of the Money Laundering Act. They don't have a SCUMO certificate, they're not registered with SCUMO, uh, they don't pay royalty, there's no evidence of uh, payment of royalty. Uh, other issues are also being handled by immigration, uh, you know, a sister agency. Uh, of, of the 13 we arrested, we only five have, a, have their passport. The other uh, remaining of them don't have passports with them. Uh, but uh, we, we are also bringing the immigration to look at uh, that aspect. Now mining uh, comes with so much danger. You know, there's the, the part of insecurity uh, that this could lead to, especially in states like this. We'll see what is happening in Zamfara and other places. Uh, we're trying to also see uh, EFCC how we can give our best to ensure that uh, that sector is sanitized so that legal miners only can take over. Gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, I visited the President, His Excellency, President Bola Amatunembo, on behalf of the people of Southeast of the country. If you recall, a few days ago, we had a meeting of the leadership of Southeast uh, political and the non political leaders uh, in conjunction with the leadership of uh, Ohanez Ndibu. And among the resolutions from that meeting was to visit Mr. President to support and intervene in our resolve in addressing the issue of insecurity. The southeastern part of the country, of course you are aware, has been bedeviled with this high level of insecurity ranging from banditry, kidnapping, activities of non-government, to the extent that most of the states, out of the five states in the southeast, eastern part of the country, a lot of resources have been spent. Community efforts have been invested. Yet, the problem seems not to be abetting. So the leadership of the zone met and agreed that uh, working with the Forum of Governors from Southeast, that we will come to Mr. President to formally request his intervention and additional support from federal government to ensure that there is peace in the southeastern part of the country. The South, people of Southeast believe in the unity of the country and as an integral part of the Nigerian project also needs serious attention in terms of provision of security for our people to go about their businesses. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The situation in the Southeast is not as simple as so many, some people think. There is no government directive for sit at home. Neither local government directive, nor any state, nor the zone. But the situation is that because of the indiscriminate killing of people and the high level of insecurity, our people are so afraid to come out. Not only because there is any sit at home order, but it's perception management that we are trying to do. So there is too much fear into the people that otherwise how can non-state actors give sit at home order and it will be obeyed. People are scared. People are afraid because, what they have, because of what they have seen in the past. So and nobody wants to die, neither me nor anybody. So uh, that is why the moment government, federal government comes in to step up very high security measures to manage the situation, 
the sense of security will come back to the citizenry and they will be able to go about their businesses. Yeah, Porsche. 